forged iron sound. Wow, big claim. Welcome back everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub. We're going to take a look at the brand new TaylorMade Sim 2 Iron lineup. So two models to take a look at. We've got Sim 2 Max, Sim 2 Max OS, which stands for Oversize. So two slightly different irons on offer for 2021. We're going to take a look at them, we're going to hit them, we're going to test them. I'm obviously going to provide you with some feedback of the looks, the feel, the sound of these clubs. And also we've got the Entrapman on the floor to provide you with some data numbers and see exactly how these irons are performing. Okay, so as always, TaylorMade launch always means lots of technology to talk about. So looking at SIM, a slightly different sort of look initially in the back section of the iron compared to the previous SIM model. So we've got now more of a filled in back section. We've got a little bit to sort of talk about there. But generally the sort of look of the sole of the club, we've still got that fluted hosel. We've still got the sort of speed slot in the, in the sole of the club for those sort of low hits. And then when we put that down so in that playing position, we've got a pretty chunky look really and obviously the sim irons are more aimed at that ultimate forgiveness trying to maximize ball speed distance and all those areas so it's more aimed at a golfer maybe from that sort of mid to high handicap maybe area that just wants those um, you know a little bit more spill ball speed a little bit more help on the distances obviously we've got some lofts we need to have a little talk about here um, these two irons i've got a six iron so these are both lofting at 25 degrees of loft so we're thinking about a seven iron unfortunately i haven't got a seven iron i've only got six irons but the seven iron will be lofting at 28.5 so they're obviously they're very very strong in loft which is going to help with ball speed it's going to help with distance isn't it but what Taylor made a saying these are still very high launching, which is interesting. So low loft, you generally think it's going to come out very low, but the Taylor made a saying very high launching with the way they're putting the center of gravity through the head. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Sim 2 Max and then we'll hit some then with the OS, the oversized one. Okay, not bad strike, a little bit of that left hand side. I think first impressions there with the sound, uh, which is an interesting one to sort of talk about. I mean, it sounds quite, it's not loud. I think it's definitely not as loud as the previous sim. That's one thing I found, I think, with that, the previous sim, obviously with that, um, that more of a hollow back section, it was quite an echoey, very loud sort of um, sound to it. And this is something that they've done a lot of work on with trying to sort of dampen that sound a little bit. And they've even sort of claimed, Taylor made a claim, and this is a very much like a forged iron sound. Wow, big claim. You know, game improvement iron, very big claim to give it like a forged sound. Maybe not agreeing with that, to be honest, but it's definitely not as loud as the previous sim. That's a good strike, a little bit better strike than that previous one. Again, just work up that left side. So there's a bit of offset on these, and I'll say it doesn't always suit my eye, to be honest, but you see that launch angle. Bear in mind, this is a six iron, obviously. Launch angle at 14, spin at 4,700. So spin, as you're going to expect, this type of loft is going to be on that low side. I mean, that's getting out of 210 two carry, which is obviously a long way, isn't it? But, you know, really, if this, this sort of six iron here is more like a, a sort of five, a four and a half iron, isn't it, in a way? That's a good strike. I must admit, I was expecting to see that to fly a little bit higher, but I mean, it's not too bad. I think that's fly, yeah, 96 feet. Land angle sort of just shut around that sort of 43 degree area. So obviously the initial looks behind the golf ball. It's quite a nice shape. Obviously it's a game improvement iron. There's a lot down by that golf ball. We're seeing obviously a, a, a bit of offset there. We've got like quite a thick top edge, as you'd expect. And obviously we've got a, a, a quite a wide back section to put the cavity in there to obviously play around with that CG placement, obviously create some um, high MOI. As you put in it there, we don't see the back of the club sticking out. Now, I'm not sure what you'll be like in the long run. You might just start to see it. But at the moment with that six iron, we don't really see anything protruding out the back, which is good. So 
it looks quite a nice shape to be honest. Okay, so just talk a little bit more about this back section, which is one of the big features with this particular iron, is what they call a cap back design, which is like a high strength uh, stainless steel in this back section, which runs from the heel all the way across to that toe section. And it's got some polymer inserts in there as well. So it's all probably around sort of creating stability in that head. It's trying to, con again, control maybe that sound and dampen that sound a little bit more on, on contact. That was a nice shot. I mean, I'm just going back to this sound, this sort of polymer and this damp, dampening of the sound and the echo. I probably do agree it's, it's, it's a better sounding club than the previous sim. It's, it's not sounding like a forged iron at all. So that claim, absolutely way off the mark for me, but it's, it's, it's a decent sounding club. I think these types of irons and the golfers really maybe they're aimed at who are possibly striving for a little bit more for forgiveness, striving for a little bit more distance. Sometimes that slightly louder sound is, it sounds explosive. It sounds like they're getting that little bit more out of it, doesn't it? Um, so I think acoustics and sound, we sort of relate to as feel. So when I sort of have that sort of sound, it definitely, do, I don't associate that with a forged iron. That's nice, very good. So it's not a bad looking iron. There's obviously a lot of real estate down there. We've got a thick top edge. It's lot, seems to be lots of forgiveness in that club. So availability wise in the Sim 2 Max irons available from four iron all the way through to a lob wedge. So four to pitch, gap, sand and lob. The lob wedge isn't available in left hand, unfortunately, but the rest of the clubs from the four to the sand are available in left hand. Okay, so there's a few shots hit with Sim 2. Let's jump into the Sim 2 Max OS. Right, okay, so Sim 2 Max OS. So OS standing for oversize, and basically that's exactly what's happening. The look is very, very similar in terms of what they're doing with that back section. Maybe just starting to see now that bridge between that the top line and the bottom line become a little bit more pronounced. And basically it's just more of that club down at the bottom. Big, thicker sole, big, thicker top edge, much more offset on this particular iron. So a little bit more of a draw, bias club is what Taylor made is saying. So possibly an iron that if you're struggling with the, the left to right shape, you fade, maybe you slice there. This is something that possibly can help reduce that fractionally. Now the lofts are very strong, they're going stronger again. So seven iron is now coming in at, wait for it, 26.5 degrees of loft, which is the strongest lofted seven iron I have seen. Again, I've got a six iron, this is 23.5 degrees of loft. So to give you an idea, the four iron is coming in at 18 degrees. Okay, so it's a bit of a two iron in that four. I'm not sure, the only thing that will worry me, maybe the type of golfer that's probably gonna go into this is somebody who is really trying to help to get the ball up and away, isn't it? You know, that bit of offset there, want that maximum forgiveness. So when you lose a lot of loft and, and giving it somebody a four iron at 18 degrees, I think that's gonna be tough. So that's probably where you'd be looking at maybe switching the four iron out, probably putting the hybrids in as a replacement. So I'm not sure how many four irons uh, TaylorMade are gonna sell in this particular model at 18 degrees. But, so as I say, this is a six iron. I mean, it just looks a little bit chunkier and much more offset compared to the, the, um, the Max. Oh, that's a little bit off that bottom there. Wasn't the perfect strike that. It's flown pretty straight though. So technology wise is exactly the same. It's the same, basically exactly the same club technology that we've just gone through with the, with the Max. It's just literally that chunkier sole, more weight pulled back, more offset, a little bit more draw, bought, draw biased. And just as I say, draw biased, I just hit a little pushy one up that right hand side. <laughs> okay, again, sounds very similar, very similar to the Max. You know, it's, it's a positive crack. Now, as we're looking in that playing position, again, this is six iron, we're starting to see now that a bit of that back section just protruding on that view. So as we look down, we can just start to see a little bit of that out in that back section. So again, as we lose the loft into that five iron, four iron, if you're going into it, you're gonna see a little bit more of that. Um, sometimes that can be a little bit off-putting, kind of, again, it depends on you as an individual, whether that bothers you or not, but ultimately we know what we're trying to do, or what TaylorMade are trying to do is get that sort of weight back, pull it down and back, really to try and help this launch. That's a better shot. So that visually to me, even though we've got less loft than the Max, doesn't look to be flying any lower. Yeah, I mean, that's actually falling a touch higher than probably the other ones are hitting the Max at 105 feet on its peak height, land angle 44. Spin four and a half thousand that particular shot. 
No, that's good. That's flying off. <laughs> that just looks like it's just absolutely rocketed off there. Yeah, 210 carry, six iron. But we know really it's not a six iron. Okay, wait one more shot with this, then we'll go and look at a few numbers and compare those two irons together. Okay, and that was a little bit low in the face. Flown out great, it seems to get up there. That's maybe to that speed slot in the bottom. I was a big fan of that because typically you see a lot of golfers probably miss the strike a little bit low in the face. So that flex in the bottom, hopefully doing its bit of a job and not getting a huge drop off of distance. Okay, there's both irons hit. Let's go and check a few numbers out and see how they are performing. Okay, so we'll just maybe have a little look at the dispersion rings to start with. So a little bit going against the, the grain a touch there because the OS is, is what Telemay is saying is a little bit more draw bias, probably with that little bit more offset. In, in the club head itself, which typically would try and help the club face. It gives it a smidge longer for it to try and square up. Um, so typically I would I'd expect to list, miss that a little bit more now, whether it's because I, I knew that, I'm trying to sort of maybe just hold that off subconsciously possibly. Um, so not quite the pattern I was expecting there. Okay, and then maybe having a little look at the side on view of the ball flight itself. So the white uh, ball flights here was with the, the, the SIM2 Max. Okay, so quite consistent through the flight the strikes are all pretty consistent. Then just move into the yellow, which is the OS iron, and you can see obviously these two are the ones where I caught a little bit thin. I had two sort of bit thin in the face. Typically that lowers your launch, as you expect. The height is going to suffer. But if we look at those ones again, the the three of the higher ones there against the white, you can see they're quite a similar sort of position. If anything, a fraction higher. Okay. So you're thinking that less loft should fly out lower. It's actually flown it a little bit high on those better strikes. And then of course, moving into the numbers. So I've got SIM2 max on the bottom, OS on the top. So club head speed, as you'd expect, identical there, just over that 90 mile a mile mark. Ball speed, bit quicker with the SIM max. So you'd expect the OS to be a faster ball speed because of the stronger loft. But as, a, as again, I, I hit two thins, which was actually that First one there at 127 and the last one was a little bit low in the face. You can see the launch down at 13 at 14. So it's launched obviously a little bit, a little bit lower there. So that's probably where that speed has just dropped. So I think if you took those out and put them into the 30s, they're probably quite similar, aren't they, on the on the actual ball speed itself. Spin you can obviously see a little bit less on average. So 4648 with the OS, stronger loft again against the 4906. So the 4906 isn't that bad. Bear in mind these are six aims. Um, so just short of 5,000 with a six iron on a strong lofted isn't massively low, is it? Again, strikes obviously will dictate that a little bit. So carry distance out at 208, which is obviously pretty long. Um, you know, obviously that's strong, it's faster off the club face. It's strong on the loft, peak height at 97 there against 93, obviously lower with the OS. The couple of things obviously didn't help that either. Right, okay everybody, so there we go. There's the two new iron offerings from TaylorMade to join the big family of the irons. Obviously we've got the, the P-series irons, which are more sort of that, um, going into that forged head construction. Sim is definitely more aimed at that sort of mid to high handicap golfer who's looking for that ultimate forgiveness, that bit of ease of use of getting that ball away. Um, try to create a little bit of speed, possibly golfers who are trying to get a little bit of distance, they're definitely going to be ticking the, the boxes. Probably the only thing I would sort of say on that front is just keep an eye on that spin. Again, if you're going to go to, to look at these irons, always come and get fitted. A facility like this is, is a, probably your best option, is to come and try some different shafts and really get it dialed in for your Pacific uh, club delivery. Now, if you're a certain delivery where you're struggling to fly the golf ball, irons like this sometimes can be a little bit of a struggle because of that loft. And again, it all depends on how you deliver it. So also my, my message to you is definitely go and get fit. You know, go and contact your local fitter who's got some tailor try some different shafts, try maybe these heads together and just try them against other brands as well. Just tick that box, you know, just go and try them against each other. Appreciate you watching the video as always. If you enjoyed it, obviously hit, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, very much appreciate it and hopefully catch up with you all very soon.